Darwin Ramos was born on December 17, 1994 in Pasay City. He spent his early years with his poor family in a slum on P. Villanueva Street. In order to help his family, Darwin became a scavenger in the street with his younger sister. They spent their day going through garbage to recover plastic waste which they sold. Unfortunately, the initial symptoms of what will later be diagnosed as Duchenne muscular dystrophy appeared. Progressively, Darwin could no longer stand and his muscles weakened. Poverty pushed the family to live on the street. His father was leaving Darwin every morning at the Libertad station to beg from passers-by who were taking pity on the boy. In spite of the terrible shame felt by Darwin, hundreds of pesos passed through his hands, which he held out painfully. Darwin did not say anything, as long as a sufficient portion was used to feed his brothers and sisters. In July 2006, a group of street educators of the Tulay ng Kabataan Foundation which was already regularly meeting with Darwin for a few days, were able to fetch him in Quezon City. After getting acquainted with them and understanding that they could help, he entered one of the centers run by the foundation itself to help street children. He wanted to embrace the Catholic faith. And on December 23, 2006, he received the Sacrament of Baptism. On December 22, 2007, he received the First Communion and the Sacrament of Confirmation. His physical condition deteriorated progressively. Despite this, Darwin uplifted the staff and the children at the Foundation by the way he lived with his illness. Yet. He inspired his companions and educators with his conduct. The words he repeated often were, Thank you and I love you. He developed a deep personal relationship with Christ. Not a day passed that the young boy did not take time out to entrust himself to Jesus. He never complained and always smiled even during difficult times. He was attentive to all and showed support to the other children in their trials. When he was speaking of his illness, he did not talk about his myopathy, but of his mission, the word he used to refer to his illness. As Darwin matured, he learned to offer to the Lord his suffering to the point that on one occasion, he understood that Jesus was asking him to persevere to the end, which he did. The end of Darwin's life was like a holy week. On September 16, 2012, his condition worsened suddenly. Darwin felt pain while breathing and was then brought to the hospital. Even in these moments of great suffering, and despite the fact that his hour was about to come, he continued to maintain a friendly attitude, thanking everyone for the services that were being rendered. Thursday, September 20, 2012, Darwin experienced a spiritual battle. He said, I am fighting against the devil. Friday, Darwin looked peaceful and had a big smile. He thanked those who had cared for him and expressed his joy in the hope of soon meeting the Lord by writing a huge thank you and I am very happy. Saturday, Darwin entered into a great silence while remaining conscious. He died in PCMC, the Philippine Children's Medical Center in Quezon City, on Sunday, September 23, 2012.